nila makausap per table? Ano? <laughs> okay, ang question ay, ito unang question pero alam namin parang, ha, yan yung question niya, what is your biggest mistake ever? Wow. Uh, sige. Oh, so, in the business now. <laughs> there, there are two that, that, that quickly come to mind. So when I first started in 2008, no, I started actually 2006, part-time. And when you you build that first startup and it starts making money, the temptation is to do more startups. So that was my first mistake. I started building other startups that were really a bit far from my area of expertise. Um, and some startups that I didn't really even, I wasn't even that passionate about, but there was an opportunity and that's a mistake. The second one is partnering with the wrong people. Um, so, across the different startups that I've founded, um, a number of those failed because I partnered with the wrong person for one reason or another. So for me, that, that founder selection is a crucial, crucial part of the journey and also focusing. Wow, thank you, Peter. So it is being important that you get the right on board. And partnership? Is that the, the, Obviously both are very important, but the partner thing is like getting married. Yeah. So if you what? do that wrong, it's very difficult. An employee can just let go. But the partner, you can't if you already give equity. So the, that's a crucial, crucial part. Okay, thank you. Uh, first, I, I believe you're already doing the right thing of um, thinking of doing a startup. Because if ever you wanted to do something, you should do it now. Um, Second, I agree with Peter. You should find the right person to do a business with. I was just lucky that I did it with my wife. Uh, and the last one is, uh, similar to that, uh, find the right people. My biggest mistake, maybe to answer also the first question, was to do everything on my own. And then I realized I became the biggest bottleneck of the company. And hiring the best people that you can trust is the best thing that happened to us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Philippines. Why are you doing business here? Because it's more fun. <laughs> Actually, it seems that everybody give a little advice, so just my short one. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. There's no fear. Fear is the worst thing that can happen to you in everything in life, and especially in business. Yes, it's a tricky game. Yes, it's complicated. Yes, the environment is... Uh, Sometimes not friendly, sometimes you will be too in advance, sometimes you will be too late, sometimes everything changes too fast, it's true. But uh, don't be afraid even to fail. Um, we use very often the US model as a benchmark here. Failing in, uh, uh, in Silicon Valley is actually uh, somehow very well considered by your potential partner, your investor, whatever, because you learn a lot. So don't be afraid. It's part of the game. Thanks. Thank you, Frederick. I have, you know, also I'll do the short advice. I think uh, we have a concept called GSD. I don't know what to get shit done. So it's, uh, <laughs> this is really my advice. You know, often in the Philippines, like because of transportation and telecommunications issues, it's very hard to get things done in a day. You know, I look at the end of my day and I say, you didn't really accomplish very much, but uh, I think that that's a really important concept. Like every single day, you should wake up and say, okay, what can I get done today? What, what do I need to get done? And you should have really actionable plans for a day, a week, a month. And just every morning, wake up and grind through that list. So that's that's really my advice for uh, budding entrepreneurs is not be relentless on that list. So just always GSD. Thank you. I, I uh, CEO of Clinica came here about two years ago to set up this business in the healthcare space. So healthcare generally is a, is a space that really lacks innovation. So when you think about healthcare, education, FinTech, these are all very good areas that I think really need to be disrupted. Um, so I'm you know, happy to chat through this as we sit on the tables, but yeah, thanks. About two years ago, sometime 2013, I was just looking at how startup founders would pitch and say, wow, they just, jump off from college and just putting up a company. And here I am, it took me years to ha and had hundreds of business reviews and strategy meetings just to understand how to run a company. And this guy's just put up a company that easy, so wow. So I admire that, uh, the courage and tenacity of uh, that 
brave entrepreneurs going to the market, but uh, um, times has really changed now. So simple idea, you can scale it, and you have the right relationships, and go for it. So my advice, uh, I was speaking to one um, startup who's getting from my opinion. When you think of starting a business, think always how you're gonna exit. And exit doesn't mean you're, you know, you're gone um, bankrupt, or uh, exit can be a JV, can be a merger, can be a, uh, a scale to other uh, countries. So most people will just think of a business and doesn't really know how to scale it towards exit. So if you have the vision when you start it, make sure that you have the end product in mind. Thank you, Jaido. Thank you so much, and please welcome Arun Maidu. Yeah. Thank you. Advice. I think, just short advice, keeping it real and creating value over anything else, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. A uh, word of advice. Be ready to argue. There is no room in a growing company for people that can kind of debate and, and, and share ideas and, and argue constructively. Uh, I just finished our Monday uh, business intelligence meeting in Zipmatch, and we all debate like crazy. We argue, but we come out of it love and love. We come out charged. It's really part of uh, building something new. Uh, two heads is better than one, and four or five heads is even better than two. So once you get up to like seven or eight heads, then you got two minutes. Well, um, I think you're out there a bit started. Um, I was in the IT industry and I started from a startup company, but I don't own a company. So I pioneered, uh, one of the pioneer for Nevada Technologies. And my learning there is, um, well, you're helping the owner to build the company. And, um, you have that skill, why not create your own uh, company? So, uh, just go for your uh, dream. Ask anything. Huwag lang ano, ah. Alin lang ang registration sa mentors, okay? Now.